We've had our iPads, our new iPads, for a week. <laughs> you dream, girl. We're going to show you all about those. We're going to talk about some amazing software for our app caps. And, yes, it's a very special visit from Santa Claus. But, Mom, <laughs> it's time for iOS Today. <laughs> Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. iOS Today is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Protect your online activity today. For an extra three months free with a one-year package, go to expressvpn.com slash iOS today. And by Toto Washlet. Upgrade a once mundane trip to the bathroom into a spa-like experience with Washlet. To learn more and for special savings, go to wayfair.com slash iOS and enter the promo code iOS at checkout. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. It's good. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how did mom get in our TV set? Hi, mom. Hi. Am well, I supposed to look at the black dot? <laughs> yeah, look at the black dot now. Welcome to iOS okay. Today. I'm Leo Laporte. I'm Megan Maroney. And our mother is here. Mary Laporte. And I'm Mary Laporte. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Mary Laporte. It's so nice to see you, mom. I think. Think. Yeah, <laughs> this is uh, this is our uh, visit annual visit with mom. Actually, I don't want to talk too much about the new iPads because I don't want her to be jealous. Maybe we'll mm -hmm. save that for after. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hope they're smaller than this one. It's a little big for me to carry around. Mom has, and a, I love it. You have the uh, previous twelve point nine inch iPad. Uh, it is a but little she smaller. Got up in the middle of the night to get for me. Mm -hmm. I did. I always get up in the middle of the night to get all of these. Because they, oh, you are so precious. They go on sale at uh, at midnight Pacific time. So I have yep. to. Mm -hmm. uh, although this year, I don't think we had to. I think I could order. I was able to order these iPads at the during the event, I think, or at least right after the event. What size are they? What size? Well, this is the same size screen as you have, Mom, on a somewhat smaller. I might get you this because it's they shrunk no, the. No, I, yeah, I don't need it. <laughs> well, you probably don't. <laughs> See? I don't. I, lo I love my iPad. Yeah. Um, and then Megan has the 11-inch, uh, which is uh, the same physical size as the old 10.5, but because they shrunk the frames, the screen is bigger. It's 11 mm -hmm. inches instead of 10 and a half. Am uh, I looking at the black dot now? All right? Is yeah, right? keep looking at the black dot. Okay. <laughs> this is so annoying, but uh, last time I was... I was floating off the screen. I was I'm not, yeah. you know. So we, uh, before the last a couple of days ago, I, I had a, a set up call with mom and explained to her that while when you're, when you're doing face, she's on FaceTime right now. When you're doing FaceTime, you're tempted to look at the picture, but the way Apple and a lot of, this is true on a lot of devices uh, does it. The picture that you're looking at, the picture of whoever you're talking to is actually not where the camera is. The camera is off to the side. So I, I said, it's you have to look at that. Right. Yeah, you have to look at that little black dot. So, Mom, we thought we'd have you on. Kind of, it's a it's a holiday tradition, right? Mm -hmm. I was getting some before the show, some cooking advice for Thanksgiving. We're some doing guilt. So, <laughs> and some guilt visiting. and some guilt. I was getting guilt and cooking advice. Um, what kind of guilt? For not calling your mother? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that kind of guilt and not visiting. Yeah, but I. It's okay. You know, it's okay with me. But FaceTime, I want to FaceTime with you a lot. This is nice, it's isn't okay. it? This is oh, I I love it. It's almost as I mean, it's not as good, but it but at least it's better than nothing, right? It's it's better if it, it's better than a phone call, I think, because we can see each other, and you could show us. Oh, stuff. it's much better. Yeah. it's much better. Yeah. Now uh, you just have fed me into the diatribe that I was going to do, because I was going to come out against. This constant change of things in order to sell things. So up and down, the size. The, so anyway, I wanted to sit, tell how I have got it made about Christmas. I don't do, I don't have to do, I'm not in the hands of the mercenaries. I don't have to buy anything. And I'm going to, I'm going to tell you how I do that. I would love and to know because... Then yeah. I'll know what I'm getting for Christmas. 
Not so much because everything I do is a habit. I have lived so long that I've decided the things that I like to do and canceled out the rest of them. So I hate change. Habits. I love habits. So I have I've got it all organized around habits yeah. the entire Christmas. And if I didn't look out the window right now at my neighbor across the street who has put twinkling lights on his Christmas tree already. This is not Thanksgiving yet. Mom, anyway, don't I'm be against. mad at me, but we're putting up the lights day after tomorrow on our house. And I heard something ridiculous. You're hiring someone to decorate. <laughs> Who your told tree. you that? You did. Lisa says. <laughs> Lisa says I'm not. I'm. Lisa says I'm too old to get up on a ladder. Listen, that's exactly against everything a Christmas tree is for. We went you're yesterday. Not, we went to Friedman's. You're supposed to have a family decorate the tree. Oh well, the tree will have the family. You decorate. could hire a family to decorate I, the tree. But the house, I don't want to get up on a ladder, Mom. I'm going to have somebody else get up on the ladder and hang with lights. Well, why the hell? What are you doing to your house? Electrifying the outside of your house? <laughs> yes. We went to Friedman's oh, yesterday. We had two shopping carts full. Of lights, I measured the perimeter of the house. Oh, it's 413 feet, God. and so we oh. had to get uh, hundreds of feet of lights, and then we got icicles, and then I got uh, Lisa because she wants nostalgia. You know, they they make those um, plastic Santas that are, you put on the lawn. They're about this tall. <laughs> they light up. We got one of those. We got a sign for. <laughs> we got my mom's not gonna like this. We got a sign for the garage door that says "Merry Christmas." And then we got four foot. Uh, you haven't been to our new house, have you? You don't. You haven't seen the portico. I don't think I'm ever coming to your house. <laughs> it's not my type of thing. We got giant <laughs> ornament balls that we're going to hang from the arches in the portico. It isn't really your type. Is gonna of be, are you going to be insulted if I say all this? No, no. I mean, no. what I was planning to say today is against all of that. <laughs> I make things. Mm. So should I start talking about what I do? Well, can I show now? them before you do that? Can I show them what you give me every year for my birthday? Oh. Well, I was going to say that during the talk. Oh, I'll save it then. <laughs> I have them here, though. They're not on your feet, I noticed. Well, <laughs> they they are, but I can't get my... Do you wear them? Yeah, but I can't put my feet up on the... Sh I don't want to put my feet up on the table. That's considered rude in some cultures. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So... No, I, but while I'm on the subject, one thing. Okay. Every year I say, please put some socks on, stand on a piece of paper, and draw around your foot, and mail me that in an envelope. Snail mail. I never do this. You never do it. So every year... I have to figure out what, and you usually say, Mom, I have small feet. I don't know what small means. They fit. The looked, socks you've been I making, the reason I don't do this is every time you send me socks, they fit perfectly. So your guessing That's is good. perfect. Whatever you're doing, keep doing that. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I will. <laughs> but you, I will do the same thing because that's okay. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. But do your feet the change? The value of doing everything that's a habit. Because yes. I, because by this age, I've been there and done that. Yes. And I'm sick of most of the stuff. I have only saved what I enjoy doing. Yeah. So what the first thing I do is take care of the people who take care of me during the year, which is the darling mailman who always rings the bell uh, to get, if there's a heavy package, he rings the bell so he can lift it in for me. And the milkman, who isn't too darling, but you have to give him something to eat in his truck. Anyway. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, slow down. First of all, I think most of the country doesn't know what a milkman is. Probably not. It's a habit we have in New England still. Yeah. We have milk. We have milkmen here, and I love having a milkman. I, I forgot to explain. Mom lives in Providence, Rhode Island, where I grew up. Still, 
I live I live in Cranston, Edgewood section of Cranston. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to be that specific, but okay, if you want to visit her, she's in the Edgewood. The house without Christmas lights. She's the, she's the house I, without Christmas lights in the Edgewood no, section of Cranston. I don't have people visit. I'm a hermit. Yeah, well, I'm that's what I, that's why I said the Providence area, because I didn't yeah. want people to come visiting you. <laughs> but anyway, it's fine. It is. It's fine. It's it's a fairly large area. It's unlikely they could find you. Um, I don't answer the door anyway. If somebody has some texted me, I don't answer the door. So I'm yeah, fine. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. So, uh, and, and I also didn't mention that you are, may I say your age, Mom? I will. Now, I'm in the habit of saying a year older than I am. So that I'm not too shocked when I get to be that age. <laughs> Prepare you're kinda, yourself. You're preparing for it. Yeah, so yeah. I'm really 85, but I say I'm 86. <laughs> That's a good I idea. I love that, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So just for just for background, I forgot to mention that. And so you still live in, in New England, and they have, milk, they have a guy deliver the milk every morning. Yes, and now they've expanded... And you can get salad greens. You can get all kinds of vegetables. You know why? You know, because there's not enough money in milk to justify a guy driving that, around. That is the truth. Yeah. That is the truth. Even when the I was a kid, they were starting to sell things like milk shampoo and milk conditioner. They tried to tie it into dairy. Milk shampoo. <laughs> Did they really? Yes. <laughs> I remember we had a milk, we had a box. There was a box for the milkman, the milk box. But there wasn't, sh shampoo didn't come in there. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. They expanded the line at, because they, it was Hood, HP Hood. And they expanded the line because milk wasn't enough to justify having a truck. So they wanted to make a little more money. So a higher profit margin on shampoo and stuff like that. But because they didn't want to just say, hey, we're selling milk and shampoo, they called it milk shampoo. So it was kind of like, oh, well, yeah. it makes. God, I just I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. As part thing. of this whole. By the way. I need to find out about my life from you. I have no memory of Hood Milkman. So you can tell me what went on. Yeah. You didn't miss a trick. Well, and, and uh, it was an insulated box because in the summertime, you don't want the milk to get hot. But, of course. Uh, but you'd have to get the milk in the wintertime. You'd have to get it pretty quick because it would freeze and it would come out the top of the bottle. Remember, it would pop the top off and you'd have frozen milk coming out over the bottle. You remember that? It's the kind of thing a kid remembers. Gee, that's you know, I, I I need I need to ask you what was your favorite Christmas when you were a kid? Oh, it's always Did the same you one. You know what? You know my answer on this one. It was when we the lived one in, with the split lips? Yeah, it's when we lived in Pawtucket, which I just like saying Pawtucket, and uh, on on Glenwood Avenue. Remember that? I do remember yeah. that. Twenty seven Glenwood Avenue. And uh, and one year you gave Eva, my sister, a nurse's outfit, <laughs> and you gave me a space capsule. It was made out of cardboard, but it had real lights. Uncle Duncan gave that. Yeah, Uncle Duncan, my CIA agent uncle. Oh, yep. That's another story. We won't go into that. <laughs> Sometime I'll talk about relatives. Ooh la la. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, but yeah, I do. You, did you start giving us handmade gifts even then? When did you start? Because I have it, Afghans, and there's you know quilts and 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 things. You don't have that Afghan. You gave it to Jennifer, who gave it to Abby, by the way. And by the way, Jennifer is lying. She said, "What? I I, yeah, I never. I don't have any Afghan. I saw a picture of it on her sofa." <laughs> Jennifer's my ex-wife, who is still in uh, touch with, with Grandma, right? Y you guys get along very well together. Well, not so much anymore. Not She's not, I'm not, I've never come out. Yeah. Yeah, we, Grandma, Mom used to come out pretty regularly. Uh, but it's hard for you to fly now. And uh, the last time I saw you, uh, Lisa and Michael and I came out and visited. Uh, and that That's was, right. That was last year, I think, or two years ago. So it's, I'm due. I definitely have to come out. Probably three years ago. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> it wasn't, Probably. It wasn't that long ago. It was fairly recently. But anyway, we'll come out. It was winter. I remember it was cold. Anyway, and you <laughs> stayed at the Silly Hotel. What you need to do is all around Brown are nice bed and breakfasts. Oh, we could do or Airbnbs. Yeah. 
Yeah, the hotel wasn't wasn't bad, but it wasn't no, it wasn't very cozy. No, bed and breakfast, cozy. You breakfast, yeah. they're nice. Mom has Graham, Graham. extra bedrooms, but she won't let me stay in her house. No, I just shut down the toilet upstairs <laughs> instead of get a new one. Smart. That's yeah. Those toilets can add up. When the guy uh, restored this house and he did a beautiful job, uh, he he saved money getting secondhand toilets, <laughs> and they're all kind of down to the, down to the floor. You know, they're very low, and um, and you want and a higher toilet. Well, I don't want no. I don't want the highest one. You know what? I should send Mama to one of our sponsors is Toto. The Japanese toilets that the seat comes up I'm and it's warm. I'm totally and it, aware of that, and I cannot afford it. No, I said I, I should give for, it to you for Christmas. You would give me a washlet? Yeah, you want a washlet? <laughs> well, oh my God, I'll think it over. I'll tell you what I want. I really want a walk-in tub, but it has to be installed in the bathroom up there. Yeah. Because I don't take baths anymore. Everybody dies in the tub and the shower. <laughs> yeah, you're if right. You notice. No, it's dangerous. If you notice, yeah. If you notice, that's where they're found. Yeah. And with no clothes on. So I don't like the whole thought. <laughs> yeah, because they're in the and shower I, or the tub. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't go, I don't do, I don't know. Do, you, do they die because they fall or you think it's a vascular thing like the heat? Like Well, who knows what, what comes first? If you die, you fall down. If you fall down, you die. I don't know. What you <laughs> it's like a chicken and egg problem. Mm -hmm. Chicken and the egg. <laughs> yeah. So now I want to start with my habit. Habit. Why are you laughing? All That's time? a very no. I, I like it. It was very apt. You don't. You well, it's true. Yeah. Um. And some people who died in the shower, I. I I close my mind to it because I don't want to picture them with no clothes on. But they yes. were in the show. Right. Anyway, um, the first thing I do is be sure I take care of the, the postman, the neighbors, the guy down the street who was nice and used his snowblower on my walk, too. That was nice of him, yeah. And I send, I have been sending for candy, maybe even when you were a kid. From this one place called Sunnyland Farms. And every Christmas I order, they have gift bags, mm. little Christmassy gift bags, nine in a box, and they're turtles. And it's a pecan oh, farm. Chocolate or pecan, pecan turtles. <gasps> Yum. You never it's sent me those. You never sent me it's those. A, I'll send them this year. Well, no, because I... You, want, you don't want me to send you candy? That no. would be a bad mother. Yeah. Don't do it. Yeah. I won't do it. She's but if you ever visit, her. I'll give you one. I put them in the freezer, and I eat them all the way through till July. And these, the turtles, this is a pecan farm. Yeah. In Georgia. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're delicious. Well, you know what? I so ordered what for Thanksgiving on your recommendation a Harrington's ham from Harrington's of Vermont. Corn cob smoked. I can't get even to get one. Oh. She, she hates ham. I wanted to share. If you if two people order, it's like twenty bucks each, and the ham is heaven. You know what they say? She, Eternity what? is a ham and two people. Oh yeah, Irma Rombauer said that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, we have it. We got a. We got a whole leg. It's sixteen pounds. That's a lot of ham. <laughs> oh, Grady just sent me an e I sent you an email. About Grady's this her, book. Uh, my, my nephew, her grandson. Oh, oh Grady. Yeah. By the way, Grady is really the one. Who, well, okay. So I send to Sunny Land Farms in November. Yeah. And I get the same order every year. I must have been doing it for 20 years. And it's always delicious. And now the mailman counts on it. And his wife loves them, and it makes Christmas for them. That's a good idea. So you give turtles to everybody. It's a habit. Yeah. It's a habit. It's easy. I give yeah. turtles to people who have helped me out all year. Nice. And I give, and then I give turtles to my family. Yeah. Except so us. then I also am very lucky that even if you're pretending to like them, you have said, always give me socks. 
So that's another habit, and I love it. There's one pair. Yeah, you knit that's these. A good pair. You knit these, right? Are they? Yeah. You got them all in there. <laughs> of course I do. What is that? Where else would I put them? <laughs> They're in a fuzzy bag. Well, that's that's my app cap. But yeah, this is the most recent pair. You and I thought these were kind of cool because they're kind of monochrome. They're sh this oh, is like no, a shades of shades of gray socks. I like these a lot. Uh oh, I think I'm knitting those again. No, no, no. <laughs> but then I also like the very colorful ones because they show style. They f colorful socks like this are fun because they peek out through your, sh you know, between your shoes and your pant cuff, mm -hmm. and they kind of. They say something. You know, they're a statement. So I like them. I know. Okay. Should I not, Mom, should now, I not be uh, doing this, though, with them? Is that bad? You know what I'm saying? Uh, to hold them together with the toe together mm -hmm. to the other toe. To, when you wash them, turn yeah. them inside out yeah. and put them in regular wash. Okay. But but after they're done. And roll them. You roll them? Yeah, right? Mary, you roll them? Roll the toe. Roll it down to the to the cuff, yeah, and put the cuff over it. Okay, but that some people say that stretches the cuff. Mm. <clears throat> no, they're not stretched. No, it doesn't. I saw on the internet. I saw this method, mm -hmm. <laughs> which I'm never going to do. Method? Oh, no, don't this, do it. This is condo Marie, probably. Yeah, you put them up uh, like a plus sign, and then you fold the toe over, and then you fold the top over, like that. You know what? That's then, just somebody trying to get attention by changing the rules. <laughs> you know, you just got to be careful now. Don't pay attention to anything. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now. You got it, Mom. So, I'm, I've got to say, while well, I've got you, that I'm going to be very slow on the socks. I've ripped them out twice, twice because now I'm going to say I'm 85 I, I dropped a stitch a couple of times because you have to pay total attention to them when you're knitting them. And I paid it, my attention wandered. So I've ripped them out again. So they're, I give them to you for your birthday and Christmas. That's plenty. That's wonderful. Thank you. And, you do, and but I'm I should mention, mom has always been an artist. Uh, when I was growing up, we had looms. She had her own artist studio and had a loom in it. And I'm would, a weaver. She's I'm a, a weaver. weaver. And now, do you still have any looms? Oh, I have the loom I got. I went to RISD for a year and graduate weaving. Rhode Island and School I of have, Design. Yeah. I have a loom that RISD has, the same loom. And it's beautiful. Do you it's weave anymore, loom. though? I don't know if you weave anymore. Do you? Well, I have on there beautiful towels. and But it's sort of, I have to put the heat on in the winter up to go out there yeah and so i'm more and more in the habit of working inside and i'm showing you these things now i needle felt that's a needle felted santa so you made that all with with wool you have you have unspun wool yeah and you you, you hit it with a little needle and it compacts and so I make the head separately. Then this is part of unspun wool. Oh, that's pretty. That the I beard. have. The beard is like. Uh, or the beard. Yeah. So that's called needle felting, and I do a lot, a lot of that. I remember. I did that. In the I remember mm -hmm. once though that we had to, you put some uh, fabric in the bathtub, and we had to stomp on it. Is that? That's felting. That's what was felting oh, too. I wove all of your dad's jackets. And I put that wool after I wove it in the bathtub and stamped on it to to get it to <coughs> close. <coughs> that in and you put Fuller's Earth or something, right? It's called fulling. No, no, that that's that's our Mayflower name, by the way. Fuller. Fuller. Yeah. So anyway, I. What's your Mayflower name, Megan? <laughs> I don't think we have a what? Mayflower name. Every family should have a Mayflower no, name. No, we have a Lithuanian name. No, just forget it. Once <laughs> I went and once I went to Plymouth, where they have the replica of the village. Yes, and Plymouth I went, plantations. I went, yeah, I went in the Fuller cabin. Mm -hmm. Fuller was the calls the surgeon. He was the doctor. Ed Edmund and or I, Edward? I can't remember. Edmund or Edward? We'll just call him Ed. Samuel. 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 <laughs> okay, Samuel. <laughs> Samuel Fuller. I went in that. 
I went in that cabin. Yeah. And there were the most obnoxious, dull people I would avoid. I would go anywhere to avoid <laughs> standing in there. And they were all descended from them. Oh. And I thought. <laughs> they were your that relatives. Is the last that's the last time I will mention it. So I'm very <laughs> sorry I mentioned this now. But you said the name. No, but we did the we did the uh, the, the the DNA thing. You and me, yeah, right? Yeah, but that doesn't. The other one I want to do Ancestry.com because they do the names. Right, because they're they, a gen, they have a genetic, but that's because yeah, it, it's yeah that's because they do um, they have a they do what what their business is is the uh, is the um, you know, no, the but they also family do DNA. tree stuff. Way, yeah, the but they tie DNA. that into the family tree stuff because that's really their business is family trees. Yeah, that's yeah, right. That's right. right. That's I don't know. I don't know how your DNA would tell you what your family name was. No, no, ancestry does. Yeah, you but that's what I'm saying name. is I don't know how they would know that from your DNA. Well, they they wouldn't. They wouldn't. No. So. Unless you're like genes anyway. say Fuller written on them. <laughs> what? Full, yeah, <laughs> Fuller married my 13th back grandmother named Isham. Ah. Or Isham. In England, they say Isham. Isham. And I am named for my grandma, who was Mary Isham. Don't tell anybody, by the way, your maiden name. Because your maiden that name is my mother's maiden name, and that's the secret and if you tell that, then everyone will know it, and I and and then my all my accounts will, will be compromised. Tell her. I okay. will not tell. Her. It's not Isham. 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 <laughs> it's not Isham. Isham, or I Isham. had a, my snobby aunt Jenny. Yeah. Went to visit her distant cousin because he was a baronet, Sir mm. Giles Isham. Ah. And they're so snobby in England. And she told them, and my aunt helped found the American Museum in Bath. And when I went to the American Museum, I identified myself as her niece. And they all rushed down, oh, because they knew that it, she was related to Isham, the baronet. So they were not as boring as the people at Plymouth Plantations in they're the all, Fuller no, House. They're all boring. They're boring. They're all boring. <laughs> they're all boring. They're so totally boring. Show us. There's other stuff you knit. Show us the little, um, the mice. Oh, so these, now there's a very talented, talented designer woman in Britain who made up the pattern the same size for a bunny. So these aren't felted. And these are pure knitting. These are knit. Everything's knit. I'll turn them the back. See their tails? Look oh, at their tails. So they are detail work, and they're so much fun. How long does I it take you to do one of those? At least a week. <laughs> Doing it all the time. And, and, uh, and you don't give those to anybody? No, because they're my family. <laughs> this is their their they came mom, from mom, the meadow. Mom, I'm I'm your and, family. They're just my Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> but you're a giant. Do you remember what you did? Duke a duke. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that you told all those children down there? Now, I'm gonna tell your audience that <coughs> I think when, you've, I think when you've told he this was before. A small kid. Yeah. When he was like ten or No, nine, I was younger than that. I was pretty little. Hey, he was already <laughs> creating an audience and he told these kids where we stayed one summer that he was really a he, a giant disguised as a kid. <laughs> you told you told them this thing. They believed it, by the way. I, oh, because you were a spellbinder. You were a spellbinder. I don't you know. I think they just thought it. I was nuts. No, and I have on my Instagram that picture of you in your Mountie hat, sitting at the little, okay. playing a record and talking. Do you want to tell? Do you want to tell people what your Instagram account is so that they can see pictures of me as a child? No, I'm about to close it down. You good, know why? Good. Why? One person I know here who is a friend that I correspond with somehow corresponded with me on Instagram her, and saved in a chain 
all my letters to her. And it went on Instagram. Oh, dear. And it was one of those slips. That's kind of a and violation I, of uh, privacy. Oh, total. Do you have a total. face? Do you have a Facebook account? No, I hate Facebook. <laughs> That's I do not like Facebook. That's I want privacy. So I canceled this friend. She's annoyed because she was showing all her paintings on Instagram, using it as a gallery on my Instagram. So wait a minute. But I can't. She was showing her the, paintings on your Instagram. Yeah. Because she knew I had all these terrific friends and relatives in California. Yeah. So she, she would come over and say, here, put Jennifer this on your... Jennifer already contacted her about her work. So uh, how, but how was she putting them on your... You would take a picture of them and put them on your Instagram or... They can't... She somehow managed... I don't know how... She, I don't know. I don't know how these things work, but I knew that I had to get her account off of there. This is bad because I don't I I really like her a lot. Oh. But I really, you know, This is why this social not... media thing I think is is kind of a problem. Is it is it creates energy in a kind of an artificial way that if you were in the real world you wouldn't have experienced. That's right. Yeah. So I hate the whole thing. Yeah. I hate the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, is there, we're going to, we, we can't go on forever. So <laughs> I'm sorry to say we're going to wrap it up, but is there some final thoughts you'd like to pass along to our audience? Oh, oh, I have so much more to say. We'll say it. I want, okay, let's talk about Christmas some more. So, all right, I'll show you a thing here. Every once in a while, I will find something that I really like. And so I send it to everybody at Christmas this little thing. Now you don't need this. I asked you. Oh, wait this a minute! Don't tell me! This. Don't tell me! Uh, let everybody look at that. <laughs> Let's see it again. And what it's do you think called, that is, Megan? Is it a dinosaur scale? Is it? It's a, a jalapeno keychain. A jalapeno keychain. Is that what it is, Mother? <laughs> Almost. Keep guessing. <laughs> it does. Uh, it's that, from. <laughs> it's from that famous Lee catalog, and it's called a slice. And it's magnetized, so I keep it on my refrigerator. It has embedded in the little front down there some ceramic sharp teeth. It works like a little saw, and I just grab it to open any package, oh. open anything, and slice through it. Wow. My this is a great thing. Everybody needs so that. It's, How it's from the Lee L E E Lee or L E I G H? How do you spell the Lee catalog? Lee Valley. So L -E -E. it's L E L E E in Canada. Lee Valley, they Canada. Have the best little things. That is a great. And this was a great gift. You know what? That'd Here's be a great stocking one. stuffer for any geek because we always have stuff packages to open. Mm -hmm. Now this is weird. <laughs> Can you see this? Um, it's yeah. A weird object. It is an aquas towel, hair drying towel. Oh, you gave one of these to Lisa. I sent one to Lisa for drying long hair. And you put it on your head after you and you. Could you show us what that looks like? Well, I'm trying to figure out how to put this up. All right. You won't see my face for a minute. It's going on the back of my head. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You put it, and then when your hair is dripping wet, you twist this around like that, put it back, and button Oh, look how cute that back. is. You could wear that you, out. That's like a turban. No, no. So it's a magic dryer because you walk around in this for a while. When you take it off, your hair is bare. It's just damp. It took all the, way, all the moisture out of your hair. That's so, so clever. It takes, no, it takes no time to dry your hair. What's that called? Now, this is an Aquas original, uh, I don't know, hair towel or something like that. You can get it. <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember, but just go on the internet. Internet this has it. Was, yeah. I sent it to everyone I knew with long hair. And by the way, I was going to say that everything goes in and out of style. This long hair thing is a drag. Have you noticed how many people have hair obstructing? Remember, um, I can't remember the name. It's never mind. But when people are talk, women, you can't see their eyes. 
The hair is going across their mouth. There's too much hair. Now, my hair is too long, but unfortunately, my hairdresser appointment is next week, so it would have been shorter for this show. But people are doing their hair right now. It's either supposed to be sexy. You can't look at and women. Everyone has hair all the way down. And how about guys now? Everybody, beards are back. Guys are doing guys this. Guys are wearing this scruffy little beard. <laughs> so it's got something to do with sexuality. Women think they're sexier with long hair. Well, hair's hair. kind of sexy. And, and, but it is not sexy. It is messy. And, and then the scruffy beards are itchy looking. Pretty soon, though, I guarantee, yeah. because of the dollar... The style will change. Because of the and dollar? Because of the, is, commerce is behind all of this. Mm. So then the style will quickly go. It's already going with men to bald heads. There's Instead of scruff, they're doing bald heads. But, uh, oh, <laughs> okay, that's Anthony. Right. And, and look, because no, Jerry is ahead of the game. Jerry's got the bald head and the beard. He's cool. He's, he's very. You can tell he's cool. And Burke says he wants one of those Aquas Turbo Twists for his beard. That's Burke. Well, you can get no. By the way, that company. Oh, see, I knew I'm hitting it. I'm hitting it. So this is what's going to happen. This is what's going to happen. Pretty soon, men are going to look like eggs on a neck. They're they're just going to shave everything off. And women's hair is going to look like a skull cap because change. Because of the dollar. Happens. It's the dollar. It's the dollar. It's, the dollar. it's also a second. But, you know, before I forget, I just want to say that I was talking about decoration. Yes. I don't, I don't decorate. Well, I put one of these Santas on, uh, on my knocker. There on you the go. front door. <laughs> yeah. Everyone should have but Santas I, on their knockers, I think. But don't forget, yeah. we're in New England. Yeah. And I have a friend. Here's 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 the story. I have a friend in Little Compton. Now, you know how how lovely Little Compton yeah. is. Not by the it's ocean like in English. Rhode Island. It's, it's yeah. totally uh, Eisenhower's favorite place when he was president was Little Compton. That expresses all everything. So... Of course, they have gorgeous Christmas trees in Little Compton at Christmas, right? Yeah. But everyone in Little Compton knows it is totally tacky to keep your decorations up more than a week after Christmas. Oh, yeah. You don't do that. No. It's tacky. No. So We were thinking friend, of leaving them up all year long because we like how it looks. No. Well, I was going to say... <laughs> It, if you're going to do that, move to Pawtucket because because <laughs> in Pawtucket they it, do that. It isn't it, it isn't done. So anyway, my friend <laughs> in Little Compton, yes. who has who is a thrifty New Englander, yeah, she does not get her tree before uh, Christmas. She waits and then she says to her husband, "George, get out the truck. It's time to get our tree." And it's one day before collection time on the road, on the main road, and everyone has thrown out their tree. So they go along slowly and they pick out the best tree and she'll say, watch out if there's any ornaments in there. And they put the tree on the truck and take it home and put up their tree. But it's after Christmas. She doesn't care. <laughs> Free tree. <laughs> Free tree. It's used. It's a it's a free trade. We're talking New England here. Somebody said, you've heard that saying, somebody said to somebody, oh, I love your hat. Where did you buy your hat? And the New Englander said, we don't buy our hats. We have them. <laughs> <laughs> and but on that note, Mom, I don't want to cut you off, but we, we do have to go. I love you so much, and you are so much fun right we just we're gonna have you on again soon i hope maybe before, well, right before christmas it. we could finish we could do talk more about christmas shopping no i don't shop it's over for me <laughs> i've i've got it down i've done it i make things i don't do i don't pay any attention to all that because that's Sonoma. That's Sonoma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
from New England. <laughs> I love you, Mom. They just have things. <laughs> okay. I love I, you. And I love you. I love you. I didn't ask you any questions. I forgot. So I'll <laughs> face. Would you Would you mind FaceTiming with me? I will. And and Mom has a brand new TV from uh from TCL that she likes with a Roku. Love. And did you set up the Vizio soundbar yet? Have Grady you come over. You don't have to set it up. You just put it in front of the TV. Well, <laughs> you do have to plug it in. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, does, did, it looks nice there in front of the TV. I did. No, here's what I'm going to do. It's heavy, by the way. It's heavy. Yeah, it's I'm heavy. Waiting, I'm waiting for Grady to come over and lift it for me. Yeah. And... I'm going to take the lighter weight speakers and put them in my bedroom with the new TV in there and put the sound bar in the living room. I have a question. Yeah. On my Roku TV, yeah. there is a box that says sound bar. What, how does that function with the sound bar? I think it plugs into the sound bar, but, but Grady can help you do that. That's the output for the sound bar to plug into. Do I click that when I turn on the sound bar? <laughs> yeah, because you'll let that'll let the TV know you should out route the the uh, audio through the sound bar. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. and then the other thing is I checked the specs, and it does have a headphone jack. So have Grady look around because Mom likes to listen. We talked last year about this through uh, with her uh, headphones, her Sennheiser TV headphones, so she can hear better. Um, and it does have a headphone jack. So look around uh, on the TV. What, There's... the sound bar does? No, the TV does. Them? The TV does. I looked on the specs. Well, the reason I couldn't use the, the headphones in here in the living room where I am is because the... Um, the speakers are plugged into it. I understand. Speakers are plugged into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So now when I move it, I'll be able to put this, those in there. In okay. Here. But I'm glad to find out because I really have two pairs and I would... Uh, two. And I'd like to put the uh, headphones on. Yeah, you can have bedroom. headphones on the bedroom TV for sure because that'll be using a sound bar. But if, yeah, anyway, we'll talk about this No, later. no, sound bar is coming to the living room. Oh, okay. You want another sound bar? So, mm -hmm. They look good in front of TVs, I think. <laughs> you just put them right there in front of the TV. Mom, anyway, I love... I I want to thank you, sweetie. You're thank welcome. you very much. Merry Christmas, Mom. Happy Thanksgiving. What are you doing for Thanksgiving? <clears throat> I'm going going to Eva. Good. My sister lives a block away. There. <laughs> not very... Don't, they yeah. might be watching this. I'm going there. <laughs> and the boys are invited to Vermont for Thanksgiving. Oh, nice. Um for by a friend at RISD. They are so by the way, I forgot to tell you, William already went down and modeled. William got called and went down, to, you know that he and Grady were models in New York Fashion Week? No, I didn't. But you know what? Let's save that for a personal okay. call later. <laughs> when we're not is, on TV. William did that. Um, that's wonderful. That's really wonderful. And uh, and we'll talk about that. I'll call you uh, on Thursday, okay? Abby knows about it. Ask okay. Abby. I will ask Abby about it. Um, we'll have a happy Thanksgiving. You know what we might do? And we've done this before. When I'm cooking next, because Monday I'm going to do the lasagnas uh, to get oh. ready. I will put you oh. on FaceTime because mom likes to hang out with me in the kitchen while I cook. And I need her because she yes. gives me advice. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We'll do that. Also, I want advice from you. Remember my 60th birthday? And nobody will beat that. You sent everybody out to my house for my 60th yeah, birthday. Yeah, we, we flew Eva out to California. Eva this is, when mom's still is in turning California. 60 December 11th. I know. I did, I did I, a couple of years ago. I know. <laughs> <clears throat> and I don't and I don't know what to do. Oh, we'll we'll confer. Advice. We'll confer. We need to confer. But we already because... gave her a TV, don't forget. Hasn't she thanked you? The boys, everybody was going to write you thank you notes. That's all right. I don't need thank you notes. I never oh, write them myself, God. so I can't really complain when I don't get them. I don't like this. I don't like <laughs> I pay I pay 5 bucks a month for a service called Bond. That you can, I sent you the only bond note I ever sent. I sent to you, Megan, thanking you. And it's, you do it on your uh, iPad or your iPhone and it puts it in handwriting and prints out a uh, beautiful card oh, and mails it. And I've been paying five bucks a month for the last two years and I haven't used it once. So yeah, Lisa's saying you should probably cancel that subscription. No one in Sonoma County 
writes thank you notes. No, nobody, nobody not, in Sonoma County nobody writes. Nobody knows them. about thank you no, notes. No, no, it's, it's a Sonoma, Sonoma County Lincoln. thing. We don't do that here. You don't do that, Mom. That's I love right. you. Happy Thanksgiving. I love you, sweetie, and I miss <clears throat> you. Well, I so miss you too. So let's FaceTime. FaceTime me about this show and tell Megan I love her. I didn't oh. even get to see her this oh, time. Oh, there she Goodbye. is. I love you too. <laughs> oh my God, you've got long hair. Help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cutting it off. I'm cutting it off. I'm cutting it off. Oh. <laughs> Wait, it'll, next year it'll be skull caps. Yeah. <laughs> you watch because the dollar. Thank you, Mom. I love you. Bye bye. <laughs> I love you. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> The dollar, up, right? Because the I dollar. I'll that. I'll hang up. Yeah, I know how to hang up. Okay, okay there we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, uh, um, our show today, brought to you by the dollar, the <laughs> almighty dollar. Oh, you know, Toto's a sponsor today. They are, yeah. yeah. So I yeah. got mom needs a Toto washlet. She said she'd take one if we gave it to her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, Lisa says no. She's also concerned with privacy, so maybe you should suggest uh, ExpressVPN. Express mm -hmm. Maybe, huh? I never thought of that. With all the news about online security breaches, Lisa and I, and I think we'll talk about this in a bit, I think a lot of you uh, on iOS have had your password re uh, changed. Apple required a password change. There must have been a breach, right? ExpressVPN is about protecting you and your privacy. You are being tracked online by social media sites, marketing companies, and, of course, your mobile or Internet provider. They were, they were People talk about Google. They know more about you than anybody does, right? Then they, they don't hesitate to sell it to other corporations who want to profit from your information. So for privacy and security, ExpressVPN. Easy-to-use apps that run seamlessly in the background on your computer, your phone, your iPad. You turn on ExpressVPN with one click, boom, just like that. It secures and anonymizes your internet browsing by encrypting your data, and it hides your public IP address. And, of course, ExpressVPN doesn't log, so no one knows what you're up to. That means you can safely surf on public Wi-Fi without being snooped on or having your personal data stolen. By the way, not all VPN services are created equal. Many VPN services, because, in effect, they now know everything your internet service provider would know if you weren't using them. Well, then sell your data on. ExpressVPN expressly does not. No logging. No wonder they're the number one VPN service, according to Tech Radar. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. They cost less than $7 a month. People are asking me all the time, what do you use? What should I use? ExpressVPN. Protect your online activity today. And, by the way, get three extra months free when you buy a one-year package right now at expressvpn.com slash iOS today. Expressvpn.com slash iOS today. Your privacy and your security are so important. Expressvpn.com slash iOS today and get three extra months free when you buy a one-year package. We thank them so much for their support and for helping us stay safe online. So as you mentioned, uh, you and Lisa got locked out of your Apple ID account. Yeah, according to 9 to 5 Mac, this is not a, a number of people are getting this. Lisa got it yesterday. I got it today. Now, we should really say, and when you had the same reaction I did, when Lisa told me, you said the same thing. Now, was that Apple asking you? And so did you want to be really careful if you get, for instance, and people are getting these phone calls. Remember, I got like 12 in one day. Said so with a, if it's a robocall, Apple doesn't do robocalls. It was a robocall saying, this is Apple. Your iCloud account has been compromised. You should change your uh, and call us right now. And, of course, it's, that's a scam. But this happened through my iOS devices. I went to my iOS device. I think it was my iPhone. And it said, you need to re-log in to your cloud account. I get that from time to time. Don't you, right? Yeah. You know, your password. So I did that. And then it said, for security reasons, you must change your password. Now, if you get that as a pop-up on your iOS device or on your Macintosh, make sure it's not a website pop-up, but it's actually from the operating system. I have it up here if you want to show it, Kevin. Um, this is what 9 to 5 like. Max. It yeah. looks like that. Uh, go ahead and do that. Create a new password. And you'll know it's real. Well, first of all, I have two-factor turned on, and you should have two-factor mm -hmm. turned on. And so for that reason, I knew it was real because then Apple sent that four-digit code to another a device and I had to enter that four-digit code. That's why I know this was real. And that's why you should absolutely turn on two-factor so that you don't get scammed.
a scammer can't do that pop up on your iPhone saying this is the digit, this is the you know allow. So, but yeah, I, it, so others are getting this. My suspicion is Apple has a breach. We don't know. Uh, I tell you what, uh, if there was a breach because of GDPR, the, the uh, General Data Protection Regulation in Europe, Apple has 72 hours, any company has 72 hours to reveal if there was a breach. So if there was a breach, we'll know. Mm -hmm. If not, I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe it's we all got new hardware, right? But you haven't got it yet. No, I think that Marco, my husband, might have gotten it. He was complaining about how he never could remember his Apple ID yeah. password. So that might have been, I didn't... Uh, you didn't ask why he was no, trying to remember it. No, I didn't. Right. I just mostly ignore him. But um, <laughs> Like me and my mom. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so maybe, maybe he did have that wow. same problem. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you get that, just make, you know, again, make sure it's real. You, were, you asked exactly the right question. I did the same thing to Lisa. Well, how did how did they call you? Mm -hmm. Apple will not call you. Did they send you an email? Apple will may send you an email, but that's you should never respond to that email. You should do it through the Apple's built-in services on your devices. Mm -hmm. Um, horrible fires up in up and down California. Whew. You know, I'm so glad uh, Apple put this air quality index complication on my Apple Watch. I know that our air quality is 181 right now, which is of course dangerous. That's unhealthy. Uh, the NCAA won't let athletes uh, uh, compete if it's more than 150. The NFL game last night, Monday Night Football, was in uh, Santa Clara. The 49ers lost to the Giants, but they played in 160, mm. and that's pretty bad. It's like this is hardly breathable, 181. Yeah. Yeah, I checked it. Like, if you check Beijing, it's like 256. Horrible. Um, Horrible. So that's how it compares, but... Yeah. I'm really glad that we talked to Mary, your mom, because I was feeling really sad this morning, just like, is this the way it's going to be now? And I was feeling like really panicked, like, are we going to not be able to go outside? So I know. Just, and I feel so bad for this town of Paradise, which is just a little northwest of here, northeast of here. Um, the entire town burned down. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the, the football game last night, they had uh, players on the high school football team standing next to the 49ers. They really honored that town. Uh, and of course, many lives lost as well. And mm -hmm. just such a great tragedy. And yes, this just happened to us, you know, uh, a few... A year. What was it? A year ago It was now? right. It was the beginning of October of last yeah. year, the Santa Rosa fire. So, so scary. It is very scary. So it's always good to talk to your mom and yeah. realize um, just she just makes me happy talking I know. to her. Like, I know. She just and I call her because she gets, you know, she's in New England. She gets the worst storms mm -hmm. and, you know, hurricanes will hit up there and stuff. And I call her and she says, well, I'm just... <laughs> sitting in the middle of the room. I've got the heat on. <laughs> she said, I don't want to be like that old lady who died in the storm and it was just a pile of bones with a fur coat on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or in okay. the bathtub. <laughs> okay, mom. <laughs> I'll just stay in touch. And fortunately, my sister lives literally one block away. Yeah. So the boys come over a lot and, uh, and, and Eva comes over and helps her shop once a week, stuff like that. Uh, we should talk about her. I know you talked about your new iPad over on the screen. Oh man, I have to say, I love this thing. I, I also love mine. I've been using it in replace. I always say I'm going to replace my laptop, but it's, it's pretty easy to replace my laptop. I can connect it to my big monitor. Yeah. You could, this, this type C port, they, they put a USB 3.1 connector instead of lightning on the side of these, which I know kind of perturbs some people because we all have investments in lightning dongles and all this. I happen to have a type C a headphone jack dongle from my Google phone, but it works. Uh, I this is a, the good news is unlike Lightning, this is a standard port that appears on many many devices. I can charge my iPad now with uh, adapters for many laptops. Of course, for the Apple laptops, you get data out of this. So we were able to get, for instance, connect. In fact, you're connected to an audio DAC, a digital to analog converter that takes the data, the dip, the bits out of the USB connector and puts it uh, and converts it to analog so you can plug in a headphone jack. That gives you a much higher quality audio out than just analog out. So that's you know what I'm doing, which is basically a converter. So that's awesome. So that's why we're not using, someone on Twitter said, just why aren't you using the Apple USB-C to, um, to auxiliary? Is that sound not as good? Uh, well, that's what I'm using, except it's not from Apple. Apple does sell these, but yeah. this one's from Google. But it's the same thing. Oh, okay. It's a standard port. 
Now, I have to point out, uh, and we were a little surprised by this, FaceTime does not put audio out this port in any way, which is really an oversight because, of course, people who use FaceTime uh, can't use headphone jacks anymore, and you can't use this to do FaceTime. Uh, you'll have to either use your AirPods. We used AirPlay to get my mom's audio out. But otherwise, it comes through the speakers. This is really, I don't know if it's an oversight on Apple's part or if it's intended behavior, but it's very disappointing. Mm -hmm. This should be, I mean, it's capable of doing everything a headphone jack could do. But in the case of some software, at least Apple's own FaceTime, it does not. And that's, that's wrong. You cannot connect an external hard drive to this. But you can connect a camera. And in fact, I was able to import my pictures, raw pictures into Lightroom faster than I've ever seen before. Because really the real story about these new iPads is the A12X Bionic chip in here. This is faster, as Apple said, than 92% of all laptops sold this year. And I'll vouch for that. It's way faster than, I, than iOS needs. Mm -hmm. It is mind-boggling. And if I have any complaint at all about the uh, iPads is that this is state-of-the-art future hardware. This pencil, the, the, the processor in here, the screen that is running essentially uh, iPhone software from 10 years ago. It the, the apps uh, need to be updated. This is Adobe's Lightroom. Uh, and it's, it's a little, you know, you can do a lot of Lightroom-y stuff in here pretty well. Look how beautiful this screen is. So for some processing, like if you're a photographer, you might be able to use this for your raw processing, but you still need a desktop, I think, on the other end. Um, if you're a writer, yeah, you can use it to write. You can use it to take notes. It certainly will do that. Uh, but I don't think it's as easy to edit text, even if you have the keyboard, which is another 200 bucks on my 12.9 inch. Uh, it's not as easy to edit text as it is in a laptop. What do you do that you think this... I mean, what could... you? You're coloring. It's good <laughs> for using, coloring. Well, I uh, I take out Procreate every time I get a new iPad, and I think, I am going to be an artist. <laughs> yeah, that's how and, I draw, too. Um, it is well, amazing. I, I made some this stuff. This new pencil is a huge improvement. I made improvement. that. Mm. Uh, <laughs> um, I'll show you what I made. Then, I, I made what, something. But have you been using the, the gestures on here? So, like, I can yeah. double tap and... Erase. That's yeah. erase because I have a background layer. That's why it's not. So white. the default so is, and by the way, we found out from Renee Ritchie. I assumed that there was an accelerometer in this pencil mm -hmm. detecting the taps. It's not. So you don't have to tap hard. Just touch it. Oh. It's gestures, and in fact, that means potentially this could do more than just two taps. Mm. And on the default on most devices, and you'll see it's switching as I tap it. Uh, the default on most devices is to switch back and forth between drawing and eraser, but that's completely programmable. And so apps could do something else. And you can even do settings on Procreate and other tools to make it do other things. So there is one gesture right now, and that's double tapping on the flat side. But that's To make it erase. To make it, well, make it erase or do something else because yeah. it can. Yours is almost as good as mine. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm more on the abstract side. I did puffy little Bob Ross trees. Let's see what you did. Let's see yours over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I am more. This is sort of uh, more. We're not artists. If you're an artist, this makes a lot of sense, yeah. I think, right? This is, well, I don't know. I am I feel like I'm an artist. This no, you're is not. what my soul looks like yeah. inside. Mm -hmm. um, this is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Big purple ball. A <laughs> but big purple it's, dandelion. It's very meditative. Yeah. You know, I uh, my, uh, my uh, trainer at the gym, who's been in a very stressful situation of late, uh, has been using uh, the coloring books mm -hmm. and he loves the pencil and the coloring book. Oh. He likes to spend long hours coloring. Oh, so nice. that would be good. I just, I f I'm a little, I'm hoping, and Renee Ritchie said there's a rumor that Apple wanted to get more, I don't want to say desktop, but more powerful computing ca capabilities into this iOS 12 and couldn't in time. So it will be an iOS 13. There is multitasking. So it's very limited, though. You have to ha really to do it properly. Let's say I want to pull up something while I'm in um, in my notes, right? And I'll, I'll create a new note here. Uh, it has to be in the dock. I can't get out of notes and then put something in the side, you know. So I has so yeah, okay, I can do that, and maybe I could take my uh, maybe take my photos and slide it over here, so I have some photos that I can put in the notes. So, but it's very limited, and you also have limited space in the dock. But in order to do this multitasking, you kind of have to have the thing in the dock. Um, 
There's also kind of some cool stuff. For instance, I can slide this off screen to type notes and then slide it back on. So it kind of is persistent. And then, of course, you can make it be split screen. I always have trouble doing this by dragging it down. And now it's split screen and you can, you can vary the sizes. So there's some okay multitasking, but it's highly limited. And my general sense is you've got this amazing hardware, this mind-boggling hardware that is in many respects better than a desktop computer, certainly the future of computing, but it's hobbled by iOS and the apps available to it. And I do hope that that, that comes along pretty quickly. Otherwise, we spent laptop money to draw your soul and watch Netflix. <laughs> yeah. But I'm interested to see, you think you can do, is it as easy to do the work you do on this as it is on a laptop? Uh, so far it is. So far the only thing really holding me back is the muscle memory. But I multitask well, with command tab. Like that's how I get around through stuff. So that's the same way I the do The keyboard is great. I mean, laptop. You, yeah, you, I really you, you have to buy that $200 keyboard and the $129 pencil because then it makes it sort of the laptop. Steven Sanofsky, the guy who created Windows 8 and left Microsoft in disgrace afterwards, uh, tweeted a long tweet storm about how the reason people like me don't appreciate the iPad is we're stuck in the old paradigm of computing. Yeah. And that kids today growing up with tablets will feel like this is a full-blown computer. I'm not sure I agree with that. I, I think from product productivity point of view, it's not not quite there. If I were a writer, I probably would prefer a laptop to write. Mm. Right? Um, I know I've been doing some writing on here and I got this tip from Jason Snell. He likes to put it in portrait mode because it feels like a piece of paper. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, no, I, I've been writing. And he, he also says he does his podcast on, uh, mm -hmm. on there and podcast audio editing and video editing you can do on it. I love face ID on this. I've had no, like it's open love every it. time. Love it. Do you think it saves the information from your iPhone Face ID? No, like, no, no, it, no. You have to retrain it. I know. Okay, so it's not. That's not why it's so good. Because no, in fact, well, Apple's very it. clear that the the biometric information never leaves the okay. phone. It's stored in the T2 secure enclave on the phone uh, or on the. Uh, well, there's no T2 on the phone, but on the uh, iPad, it's stored in a secure enclave. And yeah, no, that should not ever be transmitted over the internet. That would be a real security issue mm -hmm. you don't want any because you can't change your fingerprint you can't change your iris you can't mm -hmm. change how your face looks well you could but <laughs> you know you so the idea is cutting my hair after unlike a, a password which if it's breached you can be changed these biometric information really has to be protected much more securely because mm -hmm. you can't change it easily mm -hmm. right or at all in some cases um i i've <sighs> I think if you're a photographer and the workflow suits you or a videographer and the workflow suits you or an artist or a writer and the workflow suits you, for those tasks, it's, it's fine. But it is, I, to me, I still am going to end up using, to me, this is not going to replace a laptop, but it costs as much as a laptop. And I don't know how people can, I mean, Apple really obviously thinks you should own it all. You should have a watch, you should have a phone, you should have an iPad, and you should have a MacBook. Probably you should have an iMac as well. And, you know, collect all 10. Apple makes a lot of money, and everybody's happy. And if money weren't an object, that would be the right answer. Mm -hmm. You know, just buy everything, and then you use the tool that's right for the job. This is a hammer that isn't a very good screwdriver. And I think you kind of have to jump through hoops to use it for productivity in ways that you don't with a desktop or a laptop computer. That's yeah. my opinion. Yeah. But it is, I love how portable it is as well. Oh, like I've been bringing it places. It's a work of art. Let's just yeah. face it. I mean, this thing is is amazing. If you disconnect it, you fold it up. It's a folio size. I like the new folio keyboard because it finally protects the back. Mm -hmm. it, it, it feels good. It, it's a decent keyboard. I love the way this... Uh, pencil is on charges on the magnetized strip here. It you know you're gonna when you it, it won't shake off, but when you put it in a case, it's easy to roll it off. So I would you know you probably shouldn't trust this 100. percent This is gonna be an easy pencil to lose if you put it in a briefcase or a purse. I got the 12.9. I like. Go ahead, just you know I know you're gonna want it, but just take a. It's, oh yeah, yeah. I um. You'd think it'd be better for productivity because of the bigger screen. I mean it's. Maybe, That's the size of the MacBook Air screen. But it does. I do like how easily this Yours fits in my purse. Yeah. And this doesn't fall off my purse. Like the Surface Book pen always, the Surface pen would fall off in my purse. This hasn't fallen off. Okay. Um, okay. 
It does. I like the flat side. I like the fact that it says Dream Girl on oh, it. Oh, yeah. You got that right. Um, <laughs> a lot of people were worried uh, that you got the comma in the wrong place, but you went back. I and went back and changed it. it. I canceled the order. Yours, it's hard to see because it's so tiny. Mm -hmm. Yours dream says girl. Dream, period. Is it comma? Yeah, Dream, comma, girl. girl. Mm -hmm. And, of course, I couldn't leave it alone. So mine says Dream, comma, boy. That's nice. That's yeah. really nice. Uh, one more quick piece of Apple It also news. says Apple Pencil, which some people just say, I don't wish they didn't put the branding on there. Yeah, I don't know, it's fine. Uh, one more piece of Apple news before we move on to your questions. Um, uh, Amazon is now selling some, all Apple products, new Apple products, as opposed as not the HomePod, but everything else. <laughs> That's the weird thing. Everything but the HomePod. Well, you know, because it competes with, I wonder, you know, it competes well, with a But Apple that. TV competes with uh, oh, Fire yeah. TV. That's true. It's it's. I don't know. I don't know either, but now you can buy them. I think they're also trying to get, uh, uh, keep counterfeiters and other Apple resellers like from selling, you know. Right, like that was a problem. Or just third party resell, yeah. you know, sales, yeah. Yeah. Selling, yeah. Uh, okay, so you guys have been great about sending videos. By the way, one more thing I want to say in terms of news, uh, which we just learned this morning, so it's not in your news stack. Oh. But it, uh, according to Kyle Weens over at iFixit, it looks like Apple with their new T2 chip, which is in the new MacBook Air, it's in the Mac Mini, it's in the iMac, it's in these. One of the things Apple has started, we were concerned about what Apple's intent was. And it looks like, for instance, you can't easily put Linux on a T2 encrypted computer. Uh, Kyle Weens is saying now it looks like Apple is intent with the T2 chip is to prevent third-party repairs. That after a third-party repair, the T2 chip will go out and look at them. And if they're not official Apple parts installed by official Apple people, your uh, device will stop operating. Apple will say, well, that's right, because the secure we can't verify the security of the machine anymore because somebody else was inside of it. But it has the effect of keeping Apple uh, in charge of all parts and all repairs. And uh, as you know, Kyle and I fix it are very much into uh, the idea of your right to repair your own stuff, which we agree with 100%. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is something to be aware of. The new, we, I knew the T2 chip was more than just a cool new security feature. And it does look like now Apple is intending to use that to prevent third-party repairs. I'm going to talk to Kyle on triangulation this Friday. Good. So, um, we're going to talk Great. about That'll be good. some of the teardowns, but mostly about how to fix your devices, yeah. why to fix your devices, right to repair, all that stuff. So yeah. that's exciting yeah. long-form interview. Friday, yeah. triangulation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so thank you for sending your videos. Jeff had a question about the old Apple Pencil and the new iPad. Let's take a listen. Hi, Leo and Megan. Jeff here from Illinois. I'm seriously considering a new iPad 12.9 inch Pro, but I'm not sure that my first generation pencil will work. I know I'd have to charge it via a lightning cable with an adapter, which I have, but will it pair with the new iPad? Anything you can do to help, I'd appreciate. Keep up the great work. Love the show. Thanks. Did you keep your old pencil? I do have my old pencil. Um... And it doesn't work. Yeah. Um, and Macworld did, a, they got a dongle. And I asked John for a dongle, but you would need a male USB on one side and then a female lightning on the other side, which exists, but we don't have it here. Just to charge it. To charge it or to and pair And to pair it, it to because pair the pairing, it. remember, the pairing doesn't go through Bluetooth. It goes right. through lightning. Yeah. So uh, Apple Mac has World. said these are not compatible. Neither, yeah. you know, you use this pencil with the new stuff. You use the old pencil with the old stuff. Neither the twain should meet. So yeah, MacWorld tried it and yeah. it didn't work. So um, this is unfortunate uh, because you now need to buy another pencil. pencil. Yes. I have to say it is an improvement. So this is where I, I do, I have to honor Apple because generally this is the case. They improve stuff and their willingness to not make it 100% compatible is one of the ways they can improve it. This one now has wireless charging, so it charges on the top of the uh, iPad. It, that's where the magnet. It no longer has to have that removable cap, which you're guaranteed to lose. Mm -hmm. uh, so they've made it better, I think. I like, frankly, that it has a flat side now because it's easier to hold. Uh, so in general, I think they have made it better, but the side effect of making it better is and and by the way a side effect of putting a usb-c mm -hmm. adapter instead of a lightning adapter is 
it's not compatible anymore. Right. Um, but it isn't that it not, it's, it is compatible with old iPads still. It's not like it doesn't work Could at you all. Could you though draw, you can't pair it so you can't draw with it, I no, guess. No, you yeah, can't. Yeah. But I mean, presumably you had an iPad that it worked with before. Right. And, um, yeah, they didn't break that. Yeah, it's not so like the operating system changed it. Use right. it. Or if you're planning to sell that old iPad, you can sell it with the Apple Pencil. And I'm sure it will still be worth it to some people who might want that. It's just add $129 because you're going to want the pencil. Add $200, uh, $200 for the 12.9 inch and what is it, $179 for the 11 inch for mm -hmm. the keyboard or folio case. I am, of course, going to take a look at it. They're not out yet, but when Bridge and others come out mm -hmm. with their cases or keyboards for the uh, iPads, we'll take a look at those because there may be other choices but right now if you're buying it you're going to be buying the apple and I, frankly i think this is a nice keyboard it's usable i wish there were a trackpad on it i guess that doesn't really make any well, sense in the you, iOS use, context. you can use four fingers for the trackpad yeah. or something you can use that um, well little yeah trick of, yeah um i don't yeah. remember exactly what that is, iphone but, trick yeah um by the way here's a tip want a little tip yeah after your uh ipad is locked just double tap the space bar to unlock it and do Face ID and get right oh. to the home screen. Can't you just tap the screen also? Yeah, but isn't it easier just to double tap the space bar? It, uh, it does the... Oh, because when I tap the screen... You still have to doesn't... swipe up. Oh, but if you double... I see. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh -huh. That's a great tip. Thank you. Little tip. Um, okay. Also, you know this tip, but I, I'll tell you again. When you're in an app... Uh, let's see. Let's go to this app. When you're in an app, press and hold the command key to see what uh, what key combinations are available oh. in that app or in general. So it's this this is actually worth doing. So you press and hold the command key. It's worth doing because there are different commands on on, on different apps, right? I don't maybe there isn't one on the uh, photos app. Yeah, I guess not. But it's good it's good to try it. Yeah. It's kind of the version of right click. Control uh, Command H is home screen. Command Space is search. Did you you knew that right? You do that to search Command mm -hmm. Space. Um, that's really handy. I do that on my. There laptop used to be. Too. Didn't there? Am I wrong? Or on some keyboards? I think there was on my Logitech a home button that would take you to the home screen. There isn't on the Apple keyboard, but Command H does that. Mm. So that's that's good to know. Command Tab and and this of course is kind of like Windows or Mac. Mm -hmm. This is the ability to switch around. That's what I use. Yeah. That's very handy. And then command option D to pull up the dock. That's also like a, that doesn't really make sense in this context, but if I'm in an app, command option D to pull up the dock is handy. Mm -hmm. Of course, you could also swipe it up. Swiping though takes some practice so that you don't do that. You just do it a little bit. <laughs> and then you can only drag, remember, you can only drag stuff that you have in the dock. So you gotta choose your dock items carefully. Or open it, and then you can drag it from here, right? Um, one more thing on the Apple Pencil that, uh, good news, the nibs from the old Apple Pencil will work on the oh. new Apple Pencil. So this part of He's the old Apple still. Pencil yeah. is the exact thing as the old. Oh, so if you, have, you can, if you need an extra nib or you had extra nibs. Wasn't was Apple going to sell d different kinds of nibs? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if they ever did. They or was gonna... that for the crayon? Is that what this is called? The Apple Crayon, the one for the education Yeah, the edition. kids, the kids yeah. pencil, yeah. All right, so, um, so yes, thanks for Eileen for asking if the, the nibs would work, and then they do. Uh, we Call me Mr. Nibs. <laughs> oh, I forgot. There's one thing that is actually really handy to know about, much like on the Macintosh, and it doesn't show up when you hold the Command button down. It doesn't show up, but if you do Command-Shift-3, it's a screenshot. Oh, oh three. yeah, and that allows oh, you to edit it good. and all of that stuff. So you can because it's very hard to take a screenshot because otherwise you can yeah the, you have to press those button buttons and, and all that then, stuff. Yeah. This way I can do stuff and now let's make it up. Command Control Four. It's what Command Shift Three. Four used to do so. Yeah, I you know it's I maybe it is doing something. I don't know. <laughs> Let me try it again. Command oh, it's shift full screen. Four. Right. Well, no, Command Shift 3 gives you the full screen. See, it's doing that. Command I don't think Command Shift 4 does have anything, except it just opened it up, but that's it. But I, don't, I think Command Shift 3 is the screenshot, mm -hmm. which is weird. Mm -hmm. That is weird. Now I have all these screenshots in my... I know. Well, you can uh, I have screenshots them. of my screenshots. 
Delete that yeah. screenshot. See the stack of screenshots. Look at that. I got a stack of them. They'll go away eventually. <laughs> they do stick around longer than the. Oh, look at that. You, you just swipe swiped them, them away. Yeah. This is the fun part about a gesture based interface. Microsoft experienced this with Windows 8 as well. You have to kind of play with it to find all of these mm -hmm. oddball things. So Command Shift 4 gives a drag box on, on, on uh, iOS. Oh, okay. I, got, I know what it does now. I got it. So Command Shift 3 will sh save it down to the corner. Command Shift 4 saves it to your photos. Will do a screenshot and immediately opening the editing interface. Command Shift 4. Four. So you'll get the editing interface immediately. Mine doesn't do that. Command shift. No, you have to hold them all together. Oh. Command shift four? Uh, oh, maybe it's only on the good ones. Oh. I don't... Only on the big one? <laughs> Wait a minute. Command. Why isn't it working on yours? I don't know. That's a good question. Here. Huh. Command shift three. Try that. It worked before the command shift. That's command, right? That. The little flower yeah. command. A little flower shift. Oh, that's interesting. Four. You know, I, I hadn't really thought about this, but my keyboard is nicer than yours because it's bigger. Oh yeah. And yours is kind of like command button is compressed on yours, but it's, you you find it easy to type on yours. Yeah, and it did do the screenshot a second ago. Yeah. I don't I don't know what I did. Um, you broke it. Okay, we have a. Uh, so a your watch. dock is too small. You need to get more stuff in your dock. What should I put in my dock? Well, and Photos? this is an example of how iOS, in my opinion, is is stunted. Notice when you put something in your dock, you can't have it on your screen anymore. You mm. can only have, and I just don't understand this, one and only one copy of an icon at any point in the interface. So if you put it in a folder, it's in a folder. If you mm -hmm. put it in the dock, it's in a dock. It can't both be in a dock and in a folder. And that drives me nuts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's There's just no Apple that makes no sense. And it's those kinds of things that me, that tell me, make me feel like iOS is stuck you know, in the iPhone 2007 generation. I have 10 things in my dock. Is that enough? <laughs> yeah, you don't. <laughs> what you will find is in your workflow that there are things that you want to have in the sidebar. Mm -hmm. And those are the things that should they be in can, your dock. Right, right, right. All right, let's look. Uh, Not Twitter. Take that away. Get, delete Twitter. <laughs> no. Delete it. Uh, <laughs> I love it too much. I am down to 32 minutes a week. 32 minutes a day. Should we do our regular? Yes, let's do our... our Screen time check. A regular screen time check. And see, um, the reason how I, I did this is that I've been using Twitter on the iPad, and it doesn't, even though it's the same Apple ID, it doesn't count to my time, so I've gotten tricky. Okay, so uh, let's see. I used to be able to see it on all devices. How come I'm only seeing on the iPad? Is that just a feature of the phone? Maybe. Um, so two hours, three minutes per day total. Yeah, I could do all the Twitter uh, average, daily average of 28 minutes a day. I think that's because it's today is also averaged in there and the day is young, but that's down from last week. I was like 36 minutes last week. I uh, am using my device an hour and 45 minutes every day, five minutes above average. Uh, I find that my number one this this week, Pokemon Go is down to a mere fourteen minutes oh, for today. I should go to I should go to the last seven days because mm -hmm. that's where it'll kind of go up. Six hours and thirty eight minutes, about an hour a day. Mm -hmm. Safari, Narwhal, which is a Reddit reader. I spend a lot of time. People say, "Hey, Reddit's a social network." No, it's a news site. Okay, whatever. Music you say. settings. Well, remember my what was my settings last week? Were yeah. like five hours. Yeah, was that. <laughs> And your timer, too, because you did that. The timer, time. we understand yeah. now, because that was that. So I am, uh, on a, uh, last seven days, three hours and 18 minutes a day. That's two, down 12%. Two hours, three minutes per day, thirty down 30% from last week. Good, good going. Mm -hmm. Nice mm -hmm. job. That's because I've been using this. Rock and roll. Oh, I'm looking at all devices. You're just looking you at look the at iPhone. Where do you look at all devices? Where do you see all devices? I don't know. Screen time. It's in screen time iPhone. How come? Yeah, so I don't see all devices on my iPad. Maybe there's a setting. Maybe, what, am I missing something? Oh, share across devices. You ah, can you have to turn that okay, on. Got it. Share yeah. across devices. Share across. We're oh. learning together, friends. Yeah, you know, I, mine were not was not shared across devices, so you weren't getting my iPad time. Uh huh. This is probably a little more now. You shouldn't really check these on the days you get new hardware. Weeks. No, you get new no, hardware. no, because no. We spent a lot of time. I spent a lot of time. 
I started from scratch. I know you like to just copy it over. I started from scratch this time. Yeah. Uh, on the iPhone, I couldn't manage to start from scratch, but here I did. Um, okay, so we're going to save Keith's question till next week. We're going to save Newell's question to next week. Because, okay. you know, we got we got app caps to do. We can also before... edit Grandma out a little bit if you want. No! Uh, <laughs> she was a little Gabby. Uh but she also gave a little... It was uh, good stuff. She also, yeah, she gave a little endorsement that you didn't pay I know. to say or anything. I know. The, Out of nowhere, toilet. she said she wanted a Toto washlet. Mm -hmm. Yay. <laughs> we love Toto. Toto uh, changed my life. She does, She. does. I don't think she knew, A, that they were a sponsor, or B, that we have Totos in our house. She hasn't been to our newer newish house, I don't think. Uh, her last visit was before we bought it. She said she hasn't been because of the lights. She doesn't like the Christmas lights. She says, take down the lights and maybe I'll come visit you. <laughs> the uh, Toto washlet started, really, I have to credit Alex Lindsay for this. He said, you've got to get one. These are the... He experienced them in Japan first, as many people uh, did. The, those are those the, the 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 toilets that are automated. They open when you come in the door. The seat is heated. When you're done, they wash you with gentle, warm water. They really are amazing. Uh, I don't, you know, they save you money in toilet paper. They save trees. They're good for your uh, septic system. We're on a septic, uh, and the, and that really is better because there's no paper going into the septic, just water. And you just feel better. It's just like a spa in your bathroom. It's pretty darn awesome. So we got it in our uh, in our master uh, suite. And uh, so we got it there, and we liked it so much. What we found is our, our son started coming into our bathroom all the time. He liked using it. And then guests would come to the house and say, can I use your bathroom? And they'd go into our... So we ended up getting it in the guest bathroom, and we got it for, this, for our son, too, for his bathroom. Because it is... Once you get used to this, you will never want to go back. I almost don't want to travel. Because I miss my toilet. Instantly upgrade your bathroom. It's an easy to install in addition to your current toilet. You can buy just the seat or a whole toilet. Uh, once you've, It's kind of like a smartphone. Once you've experienced the Toto Washlet, you'll say, how do we ever live without it? Everyone needs this. There are many models available for you to choose from, each with varying levels of advanced technologies and features. Uh, the auto open, close, lid and seat. I, I like it because... Uh, it opens for me. Uh, I can then go to the bathroom and it flushes for me as I walk away and it closes the seat. So there's no more fighting over close the seat. Uh, it's hands free, which I think is more sanitary, more sanitary, right? You can enjoy the, I think the heated seat is something you absolutely should get. It just is, it's lovely. And by the way, if you it's hot and you don't want it, you could turn it off too. You completely control this with a touch of a button. A wand extends out from under the seat for soothing warm water cleanse. It has an automatic deodorizer that will circulate the surrounding air over a filter to neutralize odors. Some models even have some cutting-edge technology that helps keep your toilet clean like a pre-mist. And afterwards, the models with e-water and electrolyzed water will spray your toilet bowl and sterilize it. Many washlets feature additional advancements like a night light. That's very handy. And on-demand water heating so you never run out of warm water. That's another nice feature. Don't forget, you're saving toilet paper. You're helping the environment. And your friends, when they use this, will say, I'm coming over more often. It is probably the most popular small home appliance in the coming years. More and more people are experiencing the clean revolution with a Toto washlet. I, you're going to love it. A great gift. I'm gonna get. Uh, I'm gonna get. I'll probably just get a seat for my mom, so she could put it on her. It'll be easier for her to install just install on her existing uh, toilet. But they have full toilets too. Check out Wayfair.com/ios for more information. And by the way, when you use the promo code ios at checkout, you'll get special savings when you're making your purchase. You we uh, you're gonna love. This is like the future, and it will change the way you experience clean. Wayfair dot com slash ios and enter the promo code ios at checkout we do thank our friends at toto for uh, for supporting ios today and now it's time for our festive holiday hats i really like this hat that is a great hat yeah. I, i've never seen you wear that hat before it's kind of um like one of those russian fur hats but then it has a, a you know kind of santa claus thing attached to it but it's blue I don't know. So I don't know. Like I think maybe elf. this is what the czar wore at parties. It's also great for holding socks, as we learned. And it's a perfect, like, stocking. You could put this on the fireplace. Yeah. Now, you're wearing a dinosaur cap. Yeah. 
Handmade, it looks mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah, it looks like the thing your mom's buying. Grandma might have made that for me. Yeah, yeah. she might have. Yeah. Uh, we wear caps because it's app cap time, and we're talking about the apps that we use this week. And uh, as you were just talking about the Toto Washlet, and you talked about odors, um, speaking of odors. <laughs> speaking of odors, <laughs> yes. Um, Mudo, a company called Mudo, sent me this um, IoT. What? Air. It's got, it's, so it's, it's a hardware device. Yes. Uh, so it has these scent capsules. This one is uh, amber marine and you put the capsules in there. And this one is uh, mono de Tahiti. Mo I don't know. Mono de Tahiti. Some, something. Mondi de Tahiti. <laughs> this one is sea breeze. And this one is sweet sound, and I have mm. several other cases of different. Does uh, it actually? Sm can I smell it? What is you it? can, and I'm going to. Uh, you I'm going stick to stick it my turn nose? it on through our friend Siri by saying. So can you get different modules, like different yes, smells? Yes, there's all these modules, oh. and I'm going to say Here, to me, Siri. Oh, here. it smells um, vaguely chemical. <laughs> <laughs> that is my one issue with it. Here, how do you? Let's see. How do I make Siri? The Mudo Smart Home Fragrance Device. Siri. Sea Breeze. So this okay. is the one you're using. But then there's Lavender, Wood Royale, Floral Magic, Citrus Fresh, Orange Sunrise. Oh, Grandma Vanilla. Grand, Grandma Vanilla. Precious Spices and Midnight Thrill. I, don't, okay. I can only imagine to, what Midnight Thrill smells like. I'm going to talk to Siri, so be quiet. Hey, Siri. <sighs> Make it smell. <laughs> By the way, that's something you told it to do. I told it. I made a shortcut. You could make shortcut. it say something else. You could yeah. say, I want it to smell like grandma. Yeah. So um, let me just unplug this. So Ooh. you could. And then I'm definitely it smelling just, something. It just turns on. You can hear it. And I made these different scents. Like this is Beach Party, which is Sweet Sand, Sea Breeze, <laughs> Manoy de Tahiti, and Amber Marine. You're mixing or them all together. Bali is like mostly Sweet Sand. But I can create my own here, and I can adjust the scents. It makes the house smell kind of like a perfume store. <laughs> okay, see, so um, I have an essential oil diffuser at home that I use, and this is not that. This is definitely a little bit of an artificial smell. That is my least uh, favorite part of the Mudo, the actual scent. Yeah, uh, it's one hundred and forty dollars for this device, and then uh, and one box of capsules that last sixty days. So then you have to buy other capsules. But I do like how it works with Siri and Siri shortcuts, and that's why I was enamored. With and by this. the way, you don't see, uh, contrary to what you uh, see on the website, there is no mist coming out of this, right? No, no, it's no. just smell, and I have to. Uh, admit that I had it running the other day and Cherie, who's our controller, um, came in because it gave her a bad headache. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some people are, yeah, some people are sensitive to scents and honestly, this is the kind of scent I'd be sensitive to. Yes. It's a little like you're going by Forever 21, the perfume section of Forever 21. I wish we you know had, what I'm saying? yeah, I wish we had uh scent of vision here so you guys could smell it. Um, it's not I that, think it's just, it smells a little like cheap perfume. It does. So I, I am excited about uh, the device itself. I'm not so excited about the scents. I'm hoping that they'll keep working on them. Yeah. Um, here, try Wood Royale. Let's put some wood in it. Well, you want to just smell that. Oh, one. can you smell it? If you yeah. <laughs> you, you know what? You should smell it before you buy it. Yeah, smell before you buy. It's okay. It smells a little, I don't know. It doesn't smell natural. I like this one. If you look, I also don't like those air freshener things mm -hmm. that you put in the house. This smells like that. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's all right. This smells. This smells like, like a this. Christmas candle shop. Yeah. So yeah. I don't. I wish there was a way to smell it. I don't know if it's sold in stores, um, but I do think you need to. Smell oh, this it. is nice. It smells like fresh salmon. Which one is? <laughs> which one is that one? It's a fishing expedition. Um. So you, it, mm. it recognizes which one. Oh, which bean nice. with bacon flavor. It smells like, <laughs> it smells like you've been cooking beans. Mmm, <laughs> that smells good. Okay. I, so uh, smell it before you buy Mudo. If you like Febreze. You like, yeah, or, or renews it. If you like air fresheners, this yeah. is what that smells like. Mm -hmm. And then it's fun because you can just say, hey, Siri, 
make it smell and she'll turn it off uh, or on. Or you can say, take me to Bali or um, fresh salmon or yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so the Mudo. It smells like smeller. ketchup can yeah. in the in the summertime. Mm -hmm. So there um, you go. That's yeah. my app cap for the week. As we decided last week, like these are things that um, I'm excited about. It doesn't have to about, be we love, but, but it, it could be interesting. Mm -hmm. So um, you know that I am no longer on Facebook. I'm no longer on Twitter. I'm no longer on Tumblr, and I'm no longer on Instagram. And that's the one that's hardest for me to give up. Not so much because I want to see pictures of people's babies. I don't. <laughs> I miss the ads. But you know that was a problem for me, wasn't it? Because yeah, I would I wake up in the middle everything. of the night and start browsing Instagram and buying crap. Mm -hmm. Lots of stuff. And so I found a way to replace the best part of Instagram for me, the ads. Have you... <laughs> Have you ever seen, I don't, there's something going on with my iPad version of it, but I could, uh, it's called Tomo or Touch of Modern. Mm. It is a shopping app that is designed to bring you sales, five-day sales on cool stuff. It's for men, although here's a purse. Well, I guess you could say that's for Is that for, a man bag? Could be a man bag. Waterproof wireless earbuds Ooh, from Pamu. Those are nice. Kinetic wall sculptures. Ooh. So... Here's my suggestion. Look, don't buy. Because that's $600. Now, these, that is sale price. These sales last for five days. That's how they get you to mm. go at, get active on it. Boots, sneakers, and dress shoes from Brunello Cuccinelli. $369 sneakers. So I love... Here's a military-grade tactical phone case from Element. Not so bad. Eighteen dollars, four, fifteen, eighteen. So that's quite a bit off. Here's the Solus LX Black. Normally a hundred dollars, twenty nine dollars, and you could choose the phone. It's uh, oh, I know why it's twenty nine dollars. It's for an iPhone seven or eight. Distinctive ooh, leather jackets. Hey, half price, half price. Ooh, look at that. That's cool. Nice bright red contrast striped bomber jacket. Two hundred thirty four dollars. That's not bad for a, a, a leather jacket from DGC Leather. So these are real brands. Uh, they're kind of luxe men's items. Candles and scents inspired by nature. So you How'd just, you like to smell like Telluride? Now you can. <laughs> I, uh, I have candles on my Instagram too. Yeah, so no, I'm telling you, this is the best part of Instagram. It's just the ads. It's not really Instagram ads. But it's the same kind it of stuff. Same, yeah. It's it's it it tempts me the same way. Oh, look at that European barware and glassware. I've wanted a decanter for so long. Look at that whiskey decanter, big crystal square whiskey decanter, a set of six, including glasses, one hundred fifty bucks. That's not bad. Now here's the trick. Here's how they do it. Final sale, right? These are almost all clearance items, um. and you get five days, and then the sale's over. In fact, there's a button on here. That you can see, uh, you know, like what's what's last minute stuff. Here's some holiday stuff. Dapper man, which are you? A dapper man, interior enthusiast, adventurer, athlete, jet setter, young at heart, grooming fanatic. I got to see what that is. Grooming fanatic, luxury manicure set. I need that. All-in-one groomer. Grondike Durden Cedarwood Pheromone Soap. Ooh. Mmm, makes you smell sexy to the ladies. See, this is exactly what Until your mom was Until Cherie comes in about. and says, what did you bathe in today? I, you've got to leave. You've got to go home. How about this? A Damascus. Didn't you always want a straight razor like the barbers oh, use? Oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I wonder if it comes with a stropping belt. Ooh. You need a stropping belt if you're going to buy a straight razor. See, that's cool. $35.99. So holiday shopping, maybe this would be a good idea if you got a man in, the, in your life. Because this is, say, safe for men. I'm not making that up. Look at that. Oh, you want this. It's an ice tray that makes 3D skulls. Oh, yeah. Frozen little ice skulls. I think I actually have that, one of those. You, you're probably the kind of person who buys this stuff. Yeah. My Instagram ads are all tote bags. Why yeah. do you think that is? Because you bought one once. <laughs> They're all bags. Like, yeah. they. I don't understand See, and you have to it. scroll like through bags. all these other people's pictures yeah. to get to the ads. Look at that. Who wants to see cat feet? Oh, puppies. No, no, no. Yes. So... So if you're not on Instagram anymore, but you miss the ads for the smart snore eye masks or the or, or the smell like Telluride candles, let's see for the athlete. Oxygen. Look at that. 
Look at that. This is what I need when I work out. Oxygen canisters. Natural, unscented, 1999. Just spray it in your face. Mm -hmm. How about a power press push-up bag? Then you'll need oxygen. What's it smell like now? It actually, I think it's starting to smell good. Um, what do you think? <laughs> it smells like now, the ocean. There is another little thing, a little tip here, because Lisa does this a lot with Etsy. Mm -hmm. She'll go through her Etsy and she'll pick out stuff she likes and puts it in the cart and leaves it there. They don't let you do that. You only get 10 minutes in the cart. Uh, so this is not, this is one of those, this is kind of geared towards getting you to buy, right? And, and it takes Apple Pay, I see, too. Oh, it's easy to buy. Whew. There is an iPad version, but I, maybe it's me. I don't know. I'm, it's not giving me anything here. But, maybe uh, it knows you, don't, you just bought the Oh, iPad, hallelujah. So What's that thing on the left? Those little circular things. It's a food guard. Do you have one? Food guard. Food guard's a heat-proof, stretchable, stackable, washable, reusable, environmentally friendly, time and money saving food lid that stretches. Oh, I want these. It goes on anything. Oh, They're yeah. They're lids that stretch. It. So if you lose the top of your Tupperware. There's, it's a Tupperware top replacement. Think board, smart body scale. My body's dumb. <laughs> um, <laughs> what do you need? A, pay, a pint of Acadia? You got it. It, it's What's a, Acadia paint? Acadia is a natural soy candle handcrafted oh. to impart the scents of the wild and pristine lands of America's national parks. <laughs> smells like petroleum. <laughs> oh, this is where we're at. The XL pipeline's going through here. What's that? Uh, is that a tie? Sure. Oh, oh. <sighs> a tie? Yes, a tie. Not just any tie. It's a handmade midnight blue plaid tie. That's nice. If clothes make the man, then the right tie makes him dapper to the last detail. How much is that tie? It would normally be one hundred twenty-eight dollars. Oh. Now only eighteen ninety-nine. What? I know. Apple Pay. Yes, dangerous. Very. See already. What? What are those things? Those premium shirt stays. I don't know. Let's let's watch the uh, let's watch the ad and find out. Let's. <laughs> I want you to look at me, and I want you to listen real close. I'm buying it. Whatever Close. it is. <laughs> Closer. Just just my lips. Just because you're wearing fancy clothes doesn't mean you look fancy. This is look for at my son. Sloppy ass dress shirt. Sloppy huh? ass dress shirt. <laughs> so apparently, this is something that keeps your dress shirt. Oh, look. I don't understand Suspenders it. Suspenders for your legs. It, <laughs> it attaches to your socks and it attaches to your shirt tails and it holds them in place, both of them. So your socks don't fall down and your shirt doesn't blouse up. Does anybody actually wear that? I don't know. We got to ask Henry. Sock suspenders, ladies and gentlemen, just for like you. Braces. Like well, they're only fifteen ninety nine. Um, you get two of them, one for each leg. Mm. Uh, I think this is the funnest, honestly, <laughs> hours of entertainment. I feel like we should do a whole show just looking through this site. Here's a bracelet made of Serenity minerals. Ooh, what's that bag? Here's a beanie. A jumper carry. Now I know why you only have bags <laughs> on your Instagram. I like bags. Your eye was drawn immediately to the bag. I don't know what that is about me. If, if anyone knows. By the way, I not only do they have skull ice, they have Darth Vader ice. Splash shower tunes. I actually have that. It does not work. Oh. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, this, you need this, a Manta sleep mask. So you can, you can, you know, drowse while your socks are held up. Uh, this is just, this has got everything. Performance mushroom chai. This has got everything for dudes. It is, it's, it's, it says it's for dudes. Yeah, it doesn't say it's for not for no, dudes. No, no, I know. And I, I'm, I'm strangely drawn to a lot of the things, the bag. I mean, I don't know why I couldn't use those. Sales are suspenders. only up for five days. The clock countdown, the remaining time. That's clever, isn't it? You can catch our soon-to-expire sales at the bottom of the page, so scroll away. You can reserve items in your cart for 15 minutes. The timer at the top will keep track. So I said 10, but it's uh, it's 15. And I guess if you go all the way down, these will be like the stuff that's almost about to go out. of. 10 minutes left to buy this vibrant silk and cashmere tie. 10 minutes left. Touchofmodern.com. 18 dollars Yeah, you can go to the website, Touch of Modern, or get the Tomo app. And you'll never have to worry when you wake up at four in the morning again. Look at this. A safe that looks like a heating duct. What? What? Nobody'd ever looked there. This except is, now they do. No. This is like the thing on the airplanes. What was it called? It is. It's like Sky Mall. Sky Mall. It's exactly. It's, it's Sky, Sky Mall, Mall on millennials. your iPad. And this was the iPad Pro was made for this. Mm -hmm. Here's a watch winder. Because sometimes 
It's just too hard to wind my own I watch. Know. Really, it is. I usually have my valet do it. Yeah. You, all the people with the Plymouth names do. <laughs> the Fullers would have the valet do it. Yes. Yeah. Exquisitely detailed scale models of Chevrolet. I could get this for Lisa because she loves a Corvette. I could say, honey, I got you a Corvette oh, for Christmas. Little green Corvette. So it's eight, eight inches long. All right, I think we've smelled all the things. We've talked about the traditions of the holiday. Um, we've learned from your mom. We haven't bought a bunch of things we don't need. Success! <laughs> That's all you can ask for in a show. <laughs> yes. We, uh, we thank you for joining us on iOS today, and we hope you will come back again. We try to get the show started at 9, and then we usually start somewhere between 10 and 11. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's Pacific time. At three hours, you'll get Eastern time. At eight hours, you'll get UTC. But if you get here around nine... The fun begins at yes, nine. Yes, really. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. The show just doesn't. Uh, <laughs> you can watch those streams live at twit.tv slash live. You can also chat in the chat room as you do it, irc.twit.tv. And we do hope you'll also subscribe because uh, we have audio and video available. It can be downloaded automatically to your favorite podcast app or even listen on your Amazon Echo or your Siri or... Whatever you've got, you just say, uh, you know, hello, you, you gorgeous voice assistant, you listen to iOS today. Uh, podcast, sometimes you have to add that. Mm -hmm, sometimes. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you get the latest version. Right. And email me, Megan at twit.tv. You can send me a video, upload it to YouTube and send me the link. Or if you need to just send it to me, um, I can get it that way too. It's a little bit more difficult, especially for Kevin, because he has to deal with codecs and such. But... YouTube is the best, but if you need to just email me the video, you can do that. Too. This is how most of our audience uh, watches the show. Mm -hmm. That's Kevin, yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time on iOS Today. Thanks to Mom for being on the show today.